Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala syarifil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajmain. Alhamdulillah. Uh, now there is a a lot of research going on throughout many universities including Oxford University, uh, University of California, uh, OSHA Center for uh, integrative medicine, Harvard University, and you can find many of these, all the top-notch universities are trying to find an integration because they are doing a lot of research in terms of neurosciences and uh, brain mapping using functional MRI and EEG and so on. So there are many, many new findings which I will summarize to give you, but in the previous uh, video, I've explained to you the nature of coherence uh, in terms of how a lot of the research found that when this is your heartbeat uh, in terms of a, a 70 uh, beat per minute and your alpha wave uh, how the alpha wave actually tracks your heartbeat and in coherence you they found a lot of research in terms of forgiveness compassion love peace happiness uh, caring, sharing, all these, all these good qualities that is being taught by Islam and many religion, all the religion in the world actually gives you a natural tendency towards peace, towards happiness, towards success and so on. So this, this is not new. Huh? Since the day Nabi Adam was then sent to this world, he was given the knowledge of all things. That's why from the Islamic perspective, it is not that we are coming from the monkeys to become human beings. We are already perfected human beings in the rim of Azali, coming down to this lower earth to go through a life, all right, for perfection. All right, so we have the innate knowledge and innate nature in terms of uh, the physiology as well as the psychology of being uh, uh, a, a sincere servant of Allah and his Khalifa on this earth that is built in into a package that's why when we talk about coherence in terms of both the heart brain mind coherence it is a beautiful pattern then in coherence also we know that in terms of your heartbeat it is already palpitating and then you have high beta waves and it's all very very messy so it reflects a messy life, a life of incoherence, a life of sadness, a life of fear, a life of worry, a life of anxiety, a life of depression. It is reflected. And this, uh, there are many, many research. Eh? So I'm just going to give you how this research is related to heart rate variability. Now there's a lot of studies here. And how all these things come about towards the whole idea that human beings must meditate. To get peace, to get happiness, to get fulfillment, to get success, you must meditate. But what is meditate? Alright, from the Islamic perspective, it is our tafakkur, tazakkur, and muhasabah. And built in into the Islamic fundamental is our rukun iman. Uh, our rukun iman, rukun islam, uh, islam, iman, ihsan. So in Islam, we have our five times daily prayer. So five times daily prayer, we are going back towards peace, tranquility and happiness with the Lord of the universe. So this is built in into the metaphysics of Islam. So there is no need for us to say, oh, you must do this meditation, that meditation, because we are meditating five times a day. Plus, we are doing a lot of muhasabah, tazakkur and tafakkur on, at other times to bring us towards the perfection of our iman and Islam, which will then bring about our perfection of coherence. So, for example, if I take some of the summary of some of the various studies eh, that is being done in the various universities, how they are doing, for example, in terms of uh, meditation. That, uh, for example, they have identified three levels of our brain, which I've explained earlier, our neocortex, our limbic system, and the cerebellum and brainstem, which I've explained in the previous video. And how actually from the neo neocortex to the limbic system to cerebellum, this whole aspect of our conscious and subconscious mind. Eh? This is the, the whole manifestation of the conscious and the subconscious mind. Eh? So this whole thing within our brain, 
there are many many aspects in terms of thinking how thinking affects for example the doing and how within the the manifestation of the thinking brain it affects our limbic system in terms of the doing and then it affects our cerebellum in terms of being so there is a progression of knowledge for example how within our limbic system we do our experiential all right in terms of visual vis uh, visual auditory kinesthetic olfactory and gastrofactory and then how at the cerebellum we then imbue ourselves with some sort of wisdom all right how the logic mind or the brain all right affects our behavior all right and then towards the inner self what is this inner self all right at the subconscious level then we have intuition then it affects feelings and affects our destiny in terms of our success or failure in life we have our thoughts move into the limbic system we have our action then we have the memorized side whether positive or negative and then from our logic side we are always philosophizing but the limbic system is initiating and then at the cerebellum level when you reach at the cerebellum level it is mastering so there are a lot these are summary of many many research eh, which they are working on how the neocortex expect this whole range of our human uh, thinking rationality the limbic system how it affects our experiential uh, emotional self and the cerebellum how we then become mastery and achieve greater success so all this is a very very complicated sciences eh? but i'm just giving you this idea that all these universities are doing all these things but what does it tells you from the perspective of islamic psychology the conscious and subconscious mind we can classify this as al akal al juzi so this is interlocking with our al akal al kuli so our spiritual our raw our cult all right our emotion and our akal this is our mind sem this is whole package that we get as we come into this world this is going back to the rim of akal al kuli that means the overall foundational aspect of true knowledge is the spiritual knowledge from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the overall true mind comes from akal al kulli that is how Allah manifested our existence on this earth and to akal al kulli which affects the, both the conscious and subconscious mind so we have a beautiful model which within the perspective of Islamic psychology I'm sure there's a lot of research to be done but we know that we are not just a physical being because if the Western universities are talking about this they are only talking about the akal al juzi only that means within the conscious and subconscious mind they are not moving into the supra conscious because at akal al kulli we have the supra conscious mind eh? so this mind at this level is the highest level in terms of understanding our reality for example if you talk about mastery mastering we only can master within the realm of the dunya in terms of what we can achieve on this earth but that doesn't give us a continuum in terms of our existence beyond this earth so we are talking about say achieving but when you die that's it no more that means you can achieve a certain level of happiness but it's not a full happiness because how can you say we achieve peace tranquility happiness fulfillment achievement and success that this manifested self at the point of death becomes nothing that is a dichotomy eh? that is a very very unfulfilling for anybody so even within the meditative state within uh, other tradition for example you have the Tao tradition you have the Buddhist tradition you have the Hindu tradition you have uh, even the Aboriginal traditions of many places of the world all of them realize that at the highest level we do not die but now what modern science is trying to say okay we only take that little bit of this bit of neocortex limbic system cerebrum, and then find out what are the mechanism that affects the various part of the brain now these are these are the big areas within it are, within the neocortex there are many many sub subdivision of the neocortex within the limbic system you have the amygdala and all the other uh, uh, system that is linked to and within the cerebellum and the brain stem they have all these things so you can identify the loci within the neurons 
and within the various part of the brain but that doesn't infer that the brain is everything the brain is just a servant to uh, from the Islamic perspective the conscious subconscious mind is all servant to the supraconscious mind that is akal al kulli that come the shower from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in terms of his nur his hidayah his tawfiq his goodness his love his compassion his mercy all these are at higher level so at the lower level we can talk about uh, compassion love mercy at conscious and subconscious level at the supraconscious level we would then understand the totality of a complete system of life huh? that's why Dinul Islam is a system of life all right which comprehends all realms of existence from the realms of our existence at the realm of Azali before we existed in the physical plane within the realm of our existence on this earth after the realm after we die and continuously until we reach the final destination of the realm of peace happiness tranquility in jannah which allah has ordained upon so that is a journey of life and that is very very structured very very logical very very useful for muslims to understand that modern psychology is getting closer and closer to us because they cannot satisfy the perennial quest of our inner self by just saying that we have the brain we have the conscious and the subconscious brain and we have this mind which they cannot define all right they cannot define what is the mind because mind then means what it's just a neuron if it's a neuron then it is not the mind all right so this is the beautiful pattern which i'm giving you some summary of uh, research at the various universities whether it's harvard whether it's university of california whether it's oxford whether so many uh, uh, hundreds of others papers that is being published uh, every year bring it to understanding that we have an eternal, immortal self created by Allah that lives beyond space, beyond time and we have our local control in terms of our kalb uh, that is linked to our roh, that is linked to our akal al-kulli that manifested through the akal al-juzi and all the mechanism of what we see within the brain can then be mapped out and become supporting evidence of the deen that Allah has given us inshallah because we know we are his sincere servant his khalifa on this earth always striving to make ourselves good helping others to be good making the world good inshallah